Meanwhile, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Simon Lalong, has appealed to the NLC leadership to shelve the planned strike, assuring them that the federal government is determined to address the concerns raised. The minister also noted that one of the major demands of the NLC in their last meeting has been met, which has to do with the release of leadership of the Nigeria Union of Road Transport Workers. The Speaker of the House of Representatives has called on the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC to stay action on the planned nationwide strike action on, on the expiration of the 21 days ultimatum issued by the federal government. In a speech on, a, on resumption of the House from its annual recess, the Speaker argued that embarking on a nationwide strike at this point will only aggravate an already bad situation for Nigerians. The Speaker urged the leadership of the unions uh, to give the House the benefit of the doubt and suspend any planned strike action while it engaged the executive on the need to ensure a living wage for Nigerian workers. To organized labor, it appears, would embark on a nation strike, a nationwide strike by this midnight following the expiration of the 21 days ultimatum issued to government. As the people's representatives, we feel and equally share in the pains of our people at these very difficult times. However, I would like to appeal to the Nigeria Labour Congress to consider the various actions being taken by the federal government to alleviate the current hardship faced by Nigerians. As promised earlier, this House remains committed to getting a survival wage to all Nigerian workers. The Trans House has assured Nigerians that we would be interfacing between the organized labor and the government to quickly work out a realistic new national minimum wage. And as such, other palliatives to enable citizens cope with the economic impact of first subsidy removal. The downward fall of the Naira to the dollar, skyrocketing cost of food and general high cost of living in the country. It is in our considered opinion that embarking on a nationwide strike at this point will only aggravate an already bad situation. I therefore urge the leadership of labor unions to give us the benefit of doubt and suspend any planned strike action while we engage the executive. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.